Satnam. Aman Devi here offering a general reading as always explore what resonates and disregard the rest. It feels like the universe has asked you to go deeper and on one level you've asked for what you're receiving in this moment and this is a transition point for you to evaluate what is best and true for you. And what if there's no right or wrong? Now, you know, take that lightly because yes, there are choices that have consequences. Let's put it that way. And never not all actions are something to celebrate, correct? <laughs> but on the flip side, as a listener here today, I suspect that the consequences you are receiving, the uncomfortable nudge that you are experiencing is actually a blessing in disguise. Most are. Uh, if you take the time to look at it from the soul perspective, and perhaps take it as if we think about you know what the soul signed up for and uncomfortable truths in the universe and uncomfortable truths on this planet and the way that many humans behave you may be experiencing you may be brought here to put things in divine order and it's through your experience on earth that you're elevating the change by transmuting the energies. There is a uh, reading the other day that I did about that. It's like you're you're a front runner in many uh, cases. You know, bringing forth new standards, uh, transmuting energies through the experience, and not not with that eye for an eye, or rather say, cleaning it up on some level. Think of yourself as like a soldier, and those of you who are veterans who have gone to war or in the military, forgive me if that does sound in some way disrespectful. What if there is, you know, spiritual warfare? What if the divine is calling humans to elevate in some way and it's happening through experiences that are uncomfortable and unkind on many levels? And what if now it's not about the pitfalls not about the anger, not about being a victim, and rather you standing in your truth, being empowered, elevated, and saying, what do I want? What do I want? And raising your frequency to receive that, doing your due diligence, like taking care of yourself so that you're in the right mindset to know what step to take because it's really up to you how you choose to grow, where you want to grow. You want to stay in the same cycle? You comfortable here? Great, good. No wrong or right, good or bad, no judgment. Stay in that marriage, stay in that job, <laughs> you know, it's okay. You know, stay in that lonely existence. <laughs> you know, whatever it is for you, those are just examples. And you know, I mean, no shame, no dis disregard for where you're at. It is your choice. Now you also have a choice to say, I wash my hands of this and I'm going in this direction, right? And sometimes you circle back and sometimes, you know, you're taken on a completely different path than you would have anticipated. And sometimes you also might be like, if you have three wishes, right? And you're very careful with your wishes, but sometimes we have that like point of fixation. Humans do that. We're fixated. I want this. I want that. <laughs> think about if you're craving for food. You can't think of that, anything else to eat with that one thing that's just delicious. It could be something else. Usually it's a, it's a person, you know, and people are like, is this, is this my mate? Yes. No, it's a really, it's up to you. It's, and it's also up to them, you know? And if you're going back and forth in your mind and they're going back and forth in their mind, there's no forward momentum in the connection, right? Uh, it's more like like, like a pinging. I'm seeing like a, a pinball. You're kind of pinging around rather than landing in that one spot <laughs> that everything lights up. Um, and the divine order will happen there sometimes when you're in the pinball machine and it flows down the center, you can't help it. You could ping all day long to kind of wax the ball up higher and it just doesn't go, right? So the divine has some way of nudging you to see, and it really does feel like the divine has shown you some uncomfortable truths. The divine has shown you what you needed to see to go deeper 
to elevate your standards, elevate your frequency, and with that, the external changes in some way as you are elevated. And most of us come to readings for connections because, uh, give me the word disregard. Trying to go back with, like, as I was sitting in meditation, like everything I was getting before, but they're giving me something new right now that, like, it's time not to, like it feels like what they're trying to say now is like there's it's time not to disregard yourself by staying put waiting on something to change it's up to you to make the change and everything else changes around you right and and that your change because you've had that internal revelation you've had that input that download that realization you're you you finally feeling congruent on all levels of emotional body social like the, the self is kind of coming together into some sort of equilibrium to say, okay, I choose this direction. Now, everyone else has to adjust to you because you might have been, I think the disregard is, I think you've been adjusting to other people. And now the divine is saying, mm -mm, they adjust to you now. It's your turn. But it's up to you where you want to go, you know? Uh, you're more of a leader than you might have realized. Um, again, back to that like manipulation. There are a number of readings on that. It's like people might be playing their games to keep you in the place that they want you, but now it's like, mm -mm. uh uh, no mas. Yes. Transition. Uh, I'm going to take this as divine feminine rising, or if in some level, uh, shedding layers, uh, the energy body. You know, transmuting the energy and rising up. That's seven, learning mastery. We also have, uh, I, I love how the crown hovers above, and that's that truth that's been inputted. And so there's the choice point. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go, where's the loyalty there? With your lady, perhaps, or with yourself? Um, I, I don't want to go on a tangent about lady. I got. I could say, but let me just not say. I feel like something needed to be nipped in the butt. And it, it required you to like take a stance. And it took some time, like you felt it, but it took some time for you to see and evaluate. But now you see, you see, you see. You see it for what it is. And that's a blessing. And that also requires them making some moves now. I'm making some moves. Um, I don't know why I'm kind of seeing that license plate, you know, the, uh, the, in the, the this thing. Uh, the the rattlesnake gives you some forewarning, right? And there's certain observations you can make to protect yourself, right? And so, if there is some sort of backlash to you standing in their power, the writing is on the wall that it, it was getting to this point and someone else choosing not to see. If that makes sense. If that makes sense. <laughs> I get Kansas and Boston mixed up. Who sings uh, Carry On? There will be truth. And sometimes I get the lyrics song, you don't know you sing in the car, you just sing what you want. But when I say it here, it's like, oh, I don't know if I ever, I kind of get the words kind of mixed up. There'll be true. Lay your weary head to rest, don't you cry no more. Happiness. there and to get to that point required you to feel it out and understand your energetic input and really having faith to see what was and wasn't clear because that's where the discernment comes in the sermon is not about what's right or wrong good or bad is it a pinch of salt? <laughs> is it a little bit of pepper? Does it need some more time to simmer? You know, like, I don't bake. I don't cook. Somebody asked me the other day if I cooked. And he was looking at me like, I have four heads. I'm like, mm, I don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, no. Um, but uh, I think that those expectations is where I was going to go in with Lady. Um, but um, if we think about like making soup or letting something brew uh, or like that drink that tastes better than others, it takes some input beyond the recipe. There's the template, right? That you could look up in the recipe, but you add your own flavor and spice to it. Maybe it's not cinnamon, it's cinnamon plus that you put in, you know, like that has a better taste. And maybe it's not black pepper, it's white pepper you put in it, and it has a better taste to you, depending. But you it's based on the information you have, what steps you take or what guide team you call on, or whether you, you pull back your energy and observe, or where you take a stance and, and you make a move. It's it's all based on the information you're given at the time. And we all, you know, I like to think we all are doing our best based on what we receive. And sometimes we got to put something to rest if we don't feel like our needs are met. The five of pentacles about, you know, being left out in the cold. And, uh, and I feel like a lot has to do with mindset as far as ending something because the shoulds that we put ourselves through, the shame that we put ourselves through, um, worrying and fixating, that loops us in a pattern where the energy doesn't move forward, right? Again, back to if two people are considering union, and both are, whether they're in, uh, whether whatever they're doing, if they're spinning in their heads, there's not the movement in the connection itself, right? And that has to be put to rest so that everybody doesn't feel left out in the cold. And that's the choice there, right? It's an example. But if there's something else you're going after, you have to stop talking yourself out of it, that it's not gonna work and fixating on that mindset in order for it to roll forward. So you have to come up into alignment. Part of it is a choice point and saying, yes, this is what I want. And I trust the divine deliver to deliver. Well, now I got to get ready for that package that's coming and all that comes with it. No different than there's going to be a birth in the family. You get the nursery ready, even though, you know, there you might not even have a bit of a belly, you know, like it's, you, you still prepare on some level and energetically you needed to prepare and the emotional body has taken a heavy hit. Neptune has come in, <laughs> um, receiving and trusting your, your manifestation, trusting your in, intuition, sitting with yourself in the energies, um, receiving from the divine, the emotional body, delivering in the emotional, then taking the step in the physical. And, and it's this balance between the the bodies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not to overdo it i think fixation is where us humans get in our, our way we worry we're getting in our way um we overdo we get in our way if we sit back and are too passive we get in our way you've got to understand the speed of traffic around you the speed of the transit the speed in in the particular situation you're in, right? And that's where in, in your intuition, right? And, you know, just like when you're driving in the car, you know, you, you don't, there's so many ways to get to the same place. And, and you might take a detour, you might go in a different direction. Well, how fucking Lulia, have fun. Put something to rest on um, surrender, the burden, and elevate your energy. And that's where the information is inspiration is going to come in to let you flip it around to know which move to make, but you're going to have to let something rest mm -hmm. to manifest it. So get out of the back and forth energy. And that's what's going to allow you victory to manifest what you were brought here to do. Most of that has to, that back and forth energy has to do with coming past the pain that storyline that's always going to be this way and that storyline that holds you back that says you're not worth receiving that storyline that says you can't do it i'm not good enough but what about this what about that you know all these things we do in our heads all right 
I don't know why they're saying circle back and reevaluate. It's up to you to consider, reconsider, or close the door. Well, closing a door gives other options, putting an end to it. Like if you're so accustomed to being left out in the cold, like we get used to a particular climate, you can acclimate to an energetic frequency. It's challenging when you're ascending, it can be painful. <laughs> uh, you can acclimate to the cold, you can acclimate to the heat. Right? When um, I used to work at a canvas shop, I made a point not to use AC because it was tough to work on enclosures and be out in a boat all day. <laughs> it's hot. So it was like I wanted my body not to think twice about the heat. Um, hmm. I think the divine is like put a little pressure. Raise the bar in the heat, put a little heat, put a little, put a little, put a little heat under your fire. I mean, what am I trying to say? Do you know what I'm trying? I can't get the words out. Like uh, fire under your ass. Like it's like that it is to say, okay, this 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 is no longer sufficient. Like this is not enough. This is not good enough. This it is time to shed some layers and take a hard look at what we expect, how we define, right? That social script and start to, uh, they're giving me the words heaven on earth because I was about to go into gender tangent and not to disrespect like, uh, and I do feel bad because you know we talk about divine masculine, divine uh, feminine. Uh, you, we could also go earth and fire moon sun you know it's it's energy it's not about the genitalia like if you're on the gender spectrum love you and you're beautiful all as you are oh, so forgive me for our cards are in yes yes okay kiss the ground and touch the sky your soul is set now to be and to fly spread your wings let's do something new oh i love this a moment's joy send it through the hourglass yet time could stand still a moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will and some connections were brought to a reason to activate a reason for us to learn what layers to shed and it's society and this is just i was on a walk yesterday i was thinking about you know like why would someone feel so ashamed of a divorce why why, why would that be so shameful and i was like hmm well, <laughs> there's a reason why that system's put into place. Now there's shame around dismantling that, right? And so it was someone else to put that on, you know? But can we, rather than be ashamed of the steps that are taken, right, left, wherever, closing a door, or opening another, whatever chapters we close, can we start to look less of the shame and remember the love? Look less at the fight and look more Think more of those moments when your eyes met and you knew there was something more there. Like, start to bring those moments into your heart and let that empower you to rejoice in a yes to life. That yes to life as far as you living wholeheartedly, regardless of a connection, regardless of a job. Like, it's yes to life. And I feel like that's being pushed forward to reevaluate the quality of life you live and the essence that you can like embark upon like that whole opening this whole like spark of life that then you are shining on this planet and that like spark that uh, i can see it i can see it right now i don't even know how to describe it but just like enjoying the sunshine let's just say that <laughs> Well, I do hope this serves well. Uh, I appreciate your listening, subscribing. Uh, oh, yes. Mm. Where do you feel left out? And why? And what needs to change for you to feel connected to who you are destined to become without any shame? Sending lots of love and light your way.